Dump Big Will Levinson. And it's time to talk sports. Boy, we have had a great start to March Madness. A disappointing end for the Colorado Buffaloes as they fell in a hard-fought battle to two-seed Marquette. But still plenty of great matchups ahead. We'll talk more about those later. But first, we have some breaking news out of the Colorado Mesa Mavs men's basketball program. Superstar redshirt junior forward Trevor Baskin has announced his intentions to enter the transfer portal for his final year of eligibility. And what a career at Mesa for Baskin. A three-time All-Armac selection, Baskin was named the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference's Player of the Year this season. Baskin is as versatile and as skilled as anyone this program has ever seen and will go down as one of the great all-time Mavericks. The expectation is that Baskin will be looking to land at a Division I program. So good luck to Mr. Baskin on a new chapter as he looks to keep on balling. And hopefully we'll get a chance to see Baskin on the big stage in March Madness next year. And speaking of March Madness, folks, I am so thrilled to announce our very first winners for the March Madness Bracket Challenge. And here they are. Congratulations to Steve Thomas. You had the most picks right after round one. And to Donna Brummett, you had the most correct picks after round two. And both of you have won a free large pizza from the great Junction Square. You have two weeks to come on by to the KREX5 studios in Grand Junction to pick up your tasty treat. And Donna and Steve likely have picks similar to this because after four days of basketball, 64 teams are now down to 16. And folks, after several years of plenty of upsets in round two, we got basically none in round two this year. The only lower seed moving on this weekend was six seed Clemson, who took down three seed Baylor. And this is just the fifth time since the tournament expanded in 1985 that all number one and number two seeds are still alive in the Sweet 16. So while this past weekend may have been a bit disappointing, the next two rounds are about to be Incredible. And how about the CU woman? They pulled off the slight upset on the road over four seed Kansas State Sunday to keep their incredible season rolling. And so, with the huge round two win, the Buffs are on to the Sweet 16, the Battle of the One Seed, the Iowa Hawkeyes, and Caitlin Clark in Albany on Saturday. And talk about Big games that happened on Sunday. How about the comeback Colorado Avs? No lead is safe with the Avalanche as they were once down 4 nothing to Pittsburgh. Now down 4-2 to two in the third. And Jonathan Druin with the one-timer gets Colorado back within one. And then under five minutes to go, Nathan McKinnon finding that little bit of space in the net. And putting it in to miraculously tie this one up. Now in overtime, Drew and says, hey, we made it this far. Let's finish this thing off. And that is exactly what he does as the Avs complete the incredible four-goal comeback to stay atop the Central Division. We're feeling it at home. And, uh, you know, I, I think we can put a lot of pressure on a lot of teams. Usually when you're up three or four, you, you just try to play it safe and, and get uh, you know, safe plays and and not not be as aggressive. And the the talent we have, the depth we have, uh, it's hard to to stop us if we continue to play our game. You know, we were definitely getting frustrated, and uh, we were close to deviating there, but we stuck with it. It's now nine wins in a row for Colorado and the Denver Nuggets. They were atop the Western Conference and they had no issue with the struggling Grizzlies cruising to win 51, 128 to 103. Jokic led the way once again with a game high 29 points in Denver's fourth win in a row as the Nuggets go a game up on the Thunder for first place in the West. A great Monday of sports all right here in Colorado. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Levinson.